Austin was driving his new semi-truck that his boss had given him. He went to a gas station to get some snacks and fill up the gas tank. Meanwhile, a mafia gang was fleeing in a Tahoe in a red Dodge after robbing a bank. They were escaping from the city via the highway. At that time, pilots Sam and Bob were preparing for takeoff. Austin had just entered the highway when the Mafia vehicles approached him. At the same time, Sam and Bob experienced a massive malfunction as both of their engines caught fire. They began searching for a safe place to make an emergency landing. But the plane was hard to control and they impacted the highway. They hit Austin and the Mafia gang, causing a multi-vehicle pileup. Austin was killed on impact. The crew in the Tahoe was lucky to escape by inches, but the driver of the Red Dodge also died. The crew in the Tahoe was apprehended a few days later. Other drivers were injured, but most had only minor injuries. Cassie was going home at 4 a.m. after a midnight gig. She was feeling tired thanks to her overbooked schedule. Meanwhile, Michael was transporting concrete materials from a warehouse to a construction site a mile away. Cassie fell asleep before entering the intersection that Michael was driving into, and he suddenly T-boned Cassie's vehicle. Multiple bystanders were hit by Cassie's out-of-control car. After the collision, Michael immediately called 911. An ambulance and police arrived in under five minutes. Unfortunately, Cassie died before reaching the hospital. Her family was shocked and heartbroken, as was her boyfriend Luke, who had immediately headed to the hospital. Two pedestrians sustained minor injuries and were later discharged from the hospital. Meanwhile, Michael turned himself into the police and will be held responsible for the needs of Cassie's family as well as three other pedestrians. Harry received a call from his grandmother asking him to pick up some medicine for her. He went to the store and got what she requested. Meanwhile, she was preparing pancakes for him. When he finally reached the street near her house, he had to stop behind a vehicle that was motionless in the middle of the street. He honked at the driver to move, but he refused. The vehicle belonged to a member of the Russian embassy who had no reason to block the road. Harry honked at him a few more times before the embassy member got out of his car and started yelling at him. That's when Harry called the police, and they arrived 30 seconds later. They arrested the embassy member for being under the influence of alcohol. They moved the car, and Harry was finally able to reach his grandmother's house. He delivered her medicine, ate some pancakes, and helped her with a few odd jobs. On his way home, he stopped at a red light. While glancing down at his phone, he was rear-ended by a G-Wagon. The G-Wagon driver fled the scene of the accident. All Harry could remember was that it had a Russian license plate. Police later found the driver and arrested him, and he later admitted he had been instructed to cause the accident during questioning. Frank was helping his father, owner of a construction company, perform some construction work near some mine shafts. 
That day, his company was repairing part of a highway lane that had a big pothole that had been caused by a massive boulder that had fallen during an extreme weather incident. After five hours, Frank went home. He was driving on the highway when he received a message from his father. He grabbed his phone right away to see what it said, a decision that would suddenly cause a massive pileup. Frank woke up in an ambulance. He was lucky to be alive, and thankfully, there were no fatalities in the accident. Julian was driving a cement truck, transporting construction materials for his company. When a bee flew into his cabin and started flying around his head, he started drifting off the road when he hit a rock. The bee ended up in his mouth, causing him to start choking. He hit a couple of oncoming vehicles until he came to a complete stop. By that time, the rock he'd hit was already sliding down the hill toward another road. When it fell, it caused a multi-vehicle fire. Unfortunately, John didn't survive. Other drivers had injuries, but luckily, none were severe enough to require overnight hospital stays.